I'd say one of Adelaide's biggest draw cards is its affordability. Um, it still is the most affordable capital city in Australia. Um, and it's this that continues to create interest through interstate investors and, and also just the locals wanting to get amongst all the action and lifestyle that we have to offer. The convenience of just not having to get in the car, which is brilliant, and a lot of baby boomers are moving in, first home buyers, international people just love living in the city and it's just fantastic. You can understand why between Hutt Street, Guja Street, Rundle Street, you have got some of the best restaurants, cafes around. Um, well, as you get more people moving into the city, there's just that feeling of community that's developing, uh, better infrastructure, better services being provided, businesses popping up to service that influx of people moving in. You're sort of spoilt for choice really, whether you're looking for places to eat, places to exercise your dog, like shopping, eating, drinking, small bar scene that's happening in Adelaide. And Central Market, look if you're like me, I'm, I'm in there every Saturday afternoon. I love getting in there just before the end of the, you know, three o'clock and get all the specials for the week. It's really rare that a, um, a property of this era um, comes on the market, especially in this corner of Adelaide, in the south um, eastern corner. It's, um, it's a very popular spot, close to the markets, close to Hutt Street for dining. Um, it's just a fantastic location and ideal opportunity to grab one of these really, really old um, terrace houses. The Adelaide CBD has such a diverse range of properties. There really is just something for everyone. Uh, whether that be first home buyers wanting to capitalise on an affordable apartment, um, of which there is a very good supply of at present. And there's a multitude of freestanding dwellings. Even the townhouses, well they range from 1866 beautiful bluestone heritage uh, all the way through to new contemporary recently designed properties. I think this property it would attract a um, first home buyer or maybe somebody who's looking to actually um, maybe work from home. There's a separate entrance to this property and there is the off street parking as well. So I think it's, um, it's, it's really about a lifestyle living in the centre of the city. Uh, but as people are moving in to the area we're getting a lot more sort of regular clientele from the like huge apartment complexes that are being built in this area particularly at the moment. I mean you only have to look at the changes that have happened in like the last five years in Adelaide and think of how that's going to translate to changes over the next 10-20 years. I mean why wouldn't you want to live in Adelaide? <laughs>